What's popping people? It's Dante. Some thoughts on composition and street photography. So in the past, I've always considered composition to be the forefront, right? That was something that I've always heavily considered when I photographed and I pretty much uh, always you know, I always considered the layers of things where you have the foreground, middle ground, background and you relate these together. And that's kind of like this fundamental approach to photography. You know, I still consider it even photographing in a new way, but I'm considering it a little bit less, right? I'm much more interested in a loose approach to uh, creating a composition, right? I think it's easy to per perfect composition, actually. It's something that anyone can learn to do. Um, maybe more so for others, I don't know. But I do actually think that approaching composition should be fluid and it should be something innate. And, you know, it's not something that you have to heavily consider, right? Where you have this connection to whatever focal length you're using and you automatically know where to position yourself in the camera. It shouldn't be something that you have to like put your uh, camera up to your eye Right, you don't have to put your camera up to your eye to then compose. Um, when I used a viewfinder in the past, I would look in front of me and know exactly where I need to be and exactly where to position the camera and I didn't have to look through my viewfinder. Like I wasn't like testing, okay, is this the composition? It's kind of just an innate thing where you're so in tune with the camera and with the surroundings where you naturally know where to place it. So in terms of composition, going forward, I'm much more interested in seeing what a wonky composition will look like seeing what happens with the imperfections of life because at, at the end of the day you know life isn't perfect right there's no such thing as perfection i think that we need to seek something more than just a perfect composition so when you're out there on the streets just remember that and i think it's important to recognize that composition is critical right it does allow the viewer to read a picture so you must consider these things but it's in the back of your head it's not at the forefront um, this is something that's going to come naturally you'll be able to stay in tune with the camera with your body with the way that people are moving on the street and yeah you'll be able to place the camera where it needs to be at the right time uh, I don't believe in the whole fishing technique as much anymore where you kind of sit around on a corner and compose and wait for the light to be right, whatever. I kind of just move around and photograph nowadays and I think it's a much more interesting approach because the compositions will become a little bit more imperfect and I think imperfection, yeah, ultimately, it's beautiful.